Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And now that Halloween's over, we'll be back to doing Friday Fright. Uh, this week's theme is cursed. Anything like an object that's cursed, a person, a curse of long ago, could be just about anything. I did have a lot to choose from. I thought about doing Annabelle or Oculus, but one kind of popped into my mind automatically. This week I did The Possession. Now, The Possession is a 2012 film, which runs approximately 92 minutes, and is directed by Ole Borenthal. And he was responsible for Small Town Killers, Deliver Us from Evil, which I really enjoyed, and Night Watch, which is a fantastic movie with Ewan McGregor and Nick Nolte. If you've never seen it, it's really, really good. Now, this stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Clyde. He was in The Watchmen, Solace, The Resident, which is a Hammer film. But I think he's most known for being Negan from The Walking Dead. This also stars Kira Sedgwick as Stephanie. Uh, she was in After Darkness. And Cop Car, which is, I mean, I consider it a horror movie. It's got uh, Kevin Bacon in it. It's pretty darn good. This also stars Natasha Callas as M. She was in The Harvest. And Donovan's Echo. And finally, Madison Davenport as Hannah. Now, she was in Sisters and Parasomnia. This also stars Grant Show. This is kind of a shout out to the horror man. Um, we have a lot in common. We like a lot of the same things. When we were younger, we both watched 90210 and Melrose Place. Yeah, I know. Take my horror card from me. But... Grand Show got his start pretty much doing Melrose Place. He did do a few things, but I think that's pretty much when he got noticed. Now, this movie had a budget of $14 million. It did almost $50 million in the U.S. And worldwide, it did about $85.5 million. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> Now, some interesting things about the film. The demon in the box speaks Polish. And uh, Jeffrey Morgan, or Jeffrey Dean Morgan said on the Craig Ferguson show, I don't know if you guys remember that, but he was a comedian, and I actually kind of enjoyed his show. Uh, he said that there were a lot of unexplained happenings on the film. Uh, bulbs would explode for no reason. And a trunk of props from the film that were locked in a storage container mysteriously caught on fire. They could never figure out why. Now this movie is supposed to be based on a true story. And it's about a father, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and his daughter, M, who buy a antique Hebrew box from a yard sale. Now, this is called a Dybbuk box, and it contains a spirit. Of course, they didn't know that at the time, but it could house a good spirit or a bad spirit. This one just happens to be a bad spirit. Now, of course, he's watching his daughter. Well, not watching his daughter. His daughter lives with him part-time. He is a basketball coach for a college, I do believe. And him and his wife are estranged. And it basically puts a lot of pressure on an already dysfunctional family. I do find this movie highly underrated. I know most people say, you know, this is one of those uh, PG-13 horror films that people seem to have a lot of problem with. But I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, I believe the PG-13 kind of fit. They didn't really have to go any further with it. If there is a drawback, I would definitely say it's probably towards the end where 
it's kind of a grand ending where everything kind of happens at one time. To me, this movie is a bit of a slow burn, and I think while the ending should have been, should have had closure, I didn't think it needed to be quite as grand. I think they kind of overdid it a little bit, but I still like this film a lot. Uh, this is definitely, if you're into cursed movies, spirit movies, ghost movies, uh, stuff like that, I think you'll like this one if you haven't seen it. Now check out my buddy Steven to see what he picked this week and what our theme is for next week. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.